Hey everybody, welcome to Ventrepreneurship. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can create amazing YouTube thumbnails for your videos using Canva.com. Now, for those of you who don't know, Canva is an online tool that allows you to create pretty much any types of graphic design work that you might need for your business or for your personal use. Um, they have thousands and thousands of templates for pretty much anything that you need. They have a presentation templates templates, social media templates, video template, marketing templates, pretty much anything that you need, they have it. Now, most of it is free, but of course the pay plan is better because you get access to pretty much every single tool that they have. And I can tell you right now, this is amazing. This is this is an amazing tool for any person that have a online business or any type of business for that matter. So this will allow you to create any type of design that you might need without having to rely on external help such as a professional graphic designer um, this is pretty affordable and I highly recommend that this is a really must-have for anyone that has a business or an online uh, presence this will really save you time and money on the long term um, now of course uh, today in today's video I'm gonna teach you how you can use this tool to create uh, YouTube thumbnails and uh, for this is going you're gonna simply go to uh, the search bar and type YouTube thumbnails now for the YouTube thumbnails Canva gives you more than 8466 templates I mean this is amazing it is absolutely insane again um, most of it is available or for free but of course you're gonna have some limitations um, if you have like the, the, the pro plan you basically have access to any type of uh, templates any types of thumbnails any type of graphic design work any type of any type of tool that they have to help you create uh, those beautiful designs so any type of tools that you might need to create beautiful designs now before we begin i think it's important to kind of define what a good uh, youtube thumbnail is what are the rules that you need to follow to create a good thumbnail basically what you need to remember is that a good youtube thumbnail depends a lot on your niche depending on your niche you're not gonna have the same type of design work because different audience type will react differently to different designs if for example you have a niche where your audience is pretty young you're probably gonna be using something like this type of design um, where we use big text with high contrast colors and uh, some uh, faces with uh, lots of emotion to convey an idea. And if, for example, you are in a very professional niche, in a health niche, for example, you might want to do something different. For example, if you are in the food niche, you will probably want to use something like this where your thumbnail focuses on the food that you prepare. Now, if you use Canva to create your YouTube thumbnails, I mean, you have more than 8,000 templates for your, for your YouTube thumbnails, so it doesn't really matter what kind of niche you are in, you will always find something that will correspond to your audience and to your niche. But in this video, we're just gonna take one template and we're gonna just show you uh, how exactly you use this tool to create and modify a, a thumbnail so that it corresponds to your niche and audience. So for example, I'm gonna take this one and after clicking, it will load the entire thumbnail. So one thing that is great with Canva is that every single element can be modified and moved however you want. For example, if I want to move this image on the left, I can just click on it and drag it on the left, on, on the right. I can scale it however I want. I can rotate it however I want. And I can even uh, modify the quality of the image by using the tools that is provided by Canva. Just by clicking on edit image, I get a huge amount of filters, tools, and effects that I can apply on the image directly. For example, if I want to apply this trace effect, I can just click on it and it will apply the effect immediately. I can also click on the effect and control it by changing the brightness, the power, uh, the colorize, the amount of shift and etc. Every single thing can be used and modified by using the Canva tools. So what we're gonna do right now is that we're basically gonna take this template and we're gonna just 
modify it a little bit to make the thumbnail that we want to make. So what I want, for example, is I want to take this image away. I want to take it away. So I just select it and I delete it either on clicking on this little trash can or just simply pressing delete on my keyboard. So what I want here is, for example, like a woman that is pointing at this text. And I'm just going to go on a free pick for that. Freepik is a, is a website with like high quality photos, design mockups, pretty much for free. And uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, simply do a, re a search for pointing. And I'm going to choose uh, this image, for example, this exciting, beautiful girl smiling. And I'm just going to simply click on it, right click on it, select copy image, and then paste it on my template. So you can see here that the image is pasted successfully, but unfortunately, you know, it is like behind the text and we want it in front of the text. For this, you can just simply select the image, go to position and click on to front. And now our entire image is in front of every single element of the template. But as you can see here, the image has a background and we don't really want that. We simply want the person and not the background. So Canva has an amazing tool built right into the template. The tool is called background remover. So all you need to do is just select the image that we want to remove the background of, go to edit image and select background remover. Now this option is only available for the paid plan, uh, not on the free plan. That's why I always recommend getting the paid plan. And, and as you can see here, uh, we clicked on the uh, background remover tool and the background was automatically removed, which is absolutely fantastic. Now we're just gonna cut a little bit of the image, put it where we want it and maybe increase the size a little bit, just like this. And we click away. And now here we see that the image is perfectly integrated into the uh, template. Now maybe we want to like move the text a little bit around. So what we can do is simply select each text by holding shift. So I clicked on the income text, great ideas, still holding, holding shift, no investment and the little box here. And we're just going to move it away on the left, just a little bit. And what we're going to do right now, what we want is uh, kind of make this image pop a little bit more. So what we're going to do now is select the image, go to the edit image option and select uh, one of the options that they gave you, uh, which is, for example, let's see what we have. Let's take the radiate effect and here you can see that it creates like this kind of like this uh this trippy effect kind of like this psychedelic effect and we just want this effect to be not as, as strong so we're just going to decrease the amount here just a little bit and we click apply so that the effect is applied on the image and what we want right now is like a, a little uh, outer glow like a colorful uh, glow around the image and we just go on the effect again in the shadows and we select glow. So again, we click on it again to see the controls. For the color, we're just gonna choose pretty much the same color of the, the title here, which is like that neon green. And see here, we automatically get a, a glow around the, the image. We're just gonna increase a little bit the the, the intensity and maybe increase the blur a little bit, maybe a little bit more here. And we just click on apply. It looks pretty good like this. And maybe if we want even to accentuate the effect even more, we can go again on the, on the, on the shadows and click on glow again. And right now we're just going to go and create a white glow so that we increase the glow even, even more than before. We're just going to decrease the blur so that we almost create like a, a, a line around the, the the character and we increase the effect increase the size a little bit with mean the blur just a little bit and now we have like a very strong effect very strong glow around the, the girl and maybe we want to like increase the size a little bit more so that we can see her face more clearly and now just like this she points to the text here let's say that the topic of our video that we want to make is for example make money online so we simply double click on income type make we double click on create ideas and write make money online so now it works we have a new title make money online with low investment already looks pretty good 
We're just gonna uh, select the background and change the color by clicking on the color swatch. And we're just gonna maybe create and take a, a more purple color because usually green and purple are the colors that contrast the most between them. And maybe what we want here, since we have a, a, a space here, what we're missing, maybe if we can put a some kind of dollar sign, we can maybe create a little bit more contrast with the entire image. So for this, we go back to uh, free pick again and maybe we choose uh, for example golden dollar and we want like a golden dollar maybe you can use something like this or something like this uh, but I think I'm gonna choose this one it looks pretty good so again I'm just gonna right click copy image go to the template Control V to paste it again we don't want the background we just want the golden dollar symbol so we click on the image we go edit image we go to background removal tool and it's gonna automatically remove the entire background and now we are left with this perfectly cut uh, dollar uh, sign just gonna cut the image again we're gonna maybe place it here maybe like a little there we go make like a dollar sign when you're online maybe we want to put like a a same type of glow uh, that we put on the on the girl so we're just gonna click on the image edit image, go to the uh, shadows, glow, then control, and we're gonna take a, uh, like a custom color, we're gonna take a yellow, yellow gold, uh, maybe like increase the transparency for the powerful effect, the blur, maybe increase the size a little bit, that looks pretty good, we're gonna click apply, and same thing that we did with the girl, again, we can click on uh, shadows, we want like this, uh, we want like a, 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 an, an additional white, uh, uh, outline around the, the image so we go glow again we click on color white and we just increase the transparency maybe like we play with the blur a little bit and yeah I think it's pretty good to increase the size a little bit and I think it looks pretty good like this it looks pretty good so there you go now I think we we made a pretty good thumbnail we can for example just decrease the size a little bit so you can see it from afar and this is the kind of like the mobile experience when you see this kind of thumbnail on the on the side of your youtube page um, you need to ask yourself the question will someone click on uh, this kind of thumbnail and i think it, it i think it does i think it does look pretty good this is the type of uh, thumbnail that really pops we have very strong colors we have big text we have a big face we have good contrast colors uh, we understand then what this video is all about just by looking at the thumbnail so i think we did a pretty good job in only maybe five minutes of work on uh, on canva so if you want to download the thumbnail all you need to do is just go and click on share and then go and click on download and then you, you if you have like a pro plan you can choose the the size of your thumbnail up to 4k even but since it's a YouTube thumbnail, you can just take the 720p and click on download. And there you go. We downloaded the finished YouTube thumbnail. If you click on it, we did it. We created an amazing YouTube thumbnail in only five minutes using Canva.com. As I said previously, Canva.com is like really one of the best online tools to create any type of design work. And it's just really an amazing tool that uh, you can use to create any type of design that you might need and uh yeah so there you go thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the youtube algorithm and if you have any question just don't forget to comment on the video and i'll see you soon bye bye